Hi, I'm Matt Jackson working with Gym Club Solutions. Today we're going to be filming a video tutorial on how to teach a tuck back or tuck back progressions on parallel bars. Okay, so before we start teaching dismounts from P-bars, what the gymnast should already be able to do is a consolidated back somersault. When we're looking at leaving the P-bars, the gymnast needs to be aware of where they are in the air so it's safe to start teaching these progressions off the P-bars. First, we're gonna look at how the gymnast is gonna swing, how they're gonna bring their hips in front of their hands, and then we're gonna try and make it like a tucked manner position. So the gymnast has got the right height at the front and the right position before we start thinking about leaving the P-bars. So you can see from the progression that we've just used that using the block to elevate the gymnast's hips will encourage them to get to the right position before they leave the P-bars when they start learning their dismount. You can also see that when Luca is pressing on the P-bars, he's still engaging the same tricep muscles and lifting his hips, similar to when we've done MANA videos. So we're hitting the same position, which will give us the right direction when we leave the P-bars when we start learning back somersaults. Okay, so a nice progression we can use now for tuck back preparation on P-bars is to swing with the gymnast, get them first to make the tuck rush from position that we want to see before we leave the P-bars. Then we're gonna help the gymnast lift off the P-bars onto a soft safety mattress. What we want to see is when they do this is that they land with their knees slightly apart so that when they land on the surface, their body will want to keep rotating. So their knees are slightly apart so they don't bang their knees in contact with their eyes or their nose, causing problems later on. When the gymnast leaves the P-bars when they're doing this preparation, what we should see is the gymnast's body should land in line with where their hands were on the parallel bars. If the gymnast lands in front of that area, it means that they've let go early of the P-bars, making the somersault travel forwards and be lower and possibly land short. The other thing we don't want is the gymnast to be leaning too far backwards, otherwise the somersault will over-rotate and also their head can come close to the parallel bars when they're dismounting. So we want them to be lifting and standing in line with their hands. Okay, once we've moved through that progression safely, the next stage we're gonna look at is moving from their back over to their hands and knees. So we're now making pretty much all of the somersault happen. We're gonna focus on the gymnast's head position and their shape when they land on the mat. So they should land on their hands and knees with their head in a neutral position as if they're gonna pass through that position and then land onto their feet. So we want the gymnast to really focus on keeping their head still so they're not traveling backwards and then making the right shape so they're aware of where they are when they finish the somersault. Another progression we can use for learning tuck back dismount from the P-bars is to build a wedge into the mat that's at the side so it gives the gymnast a service to land on and start their body rolling straight away so it makes the same feeling as them turning over and doing a whole back somersault. Okay, thanks for watching our video tutorial today on learning tuck back progressions off the parallel bars. Lots of the stages are nice and safe to use. Use them wisely in your clubs. Make sure you've got the same sort of setups with soft mats and make sure the gymnasts have the awareness, like I said at the beginning, of being able to do a back somersault on the floor or the trampoline so they're aware of where they are when they're leaving the P-bars when they're learning this skill. Thanks for watching.